Hey guys, today I want to do a video on the setup I have on my truck. Um, as far as the gear I have in the truck, uh, I've done some videos on storage and organization as far as on trips, overlanding, camping, that type of thing. Uh, but in those videos, I, I show things that are in containers and I've mentioned before that some of this stuff is in my truck already. Like when I did a video on the everyday bag, go bag, get home bag. Um, I, I said that, you know, some things I have already in my truck that you may not see in the bag. Um, but uh, anyway, so today I want to go through what I have in my truck, what, how I have it set up, get some input from you. I'm sure there's a lot, or there is a lot of different ways to do this. And I would love to get feedback from you that will help me. And I hope I can help you today as well. So uh, with that said, let's go out here and let's get started. Okay, I'm going to start on the, uh, the driver's side. Uh, first of all, one thing I do is um, I like to keep a lot of water in here. So let's start with the door on the driver's side. You know, notebook with a pen, it's always handy. Um, I love these microfiber rags. I have quite a few of those. Uh, they come in very, very handy. Um, and then, you know, I love water. I love Mio, great combination. So um, lots of water. Every door panel, I believe I have water. Um, so let's look at the driver's side here. Okay, so I have my uh, 67 Designs um, holder for the phone. Let me uh, put this in here. Okay, love this setup. It's very secure. Uh, it's very uh, easily adjustable. Uh, to get the right depth they come they come with different you can select different lengths uh, this is a carbon fiber gloss they have a, uh, a matte finish as well uh, this is a little setup for the gopro uh, to film uh, either uh, traveling uh, looking towards the road or it can be back you know looking at uh, viewing me doing a you know doing a youtube video or, or something you know filming me driving but uh, so that's a setup on the dash this whole setup comes from this this mount comes from Built Right Industries, and then the rail system with these other mounts comes from uh, 67 Designs. Uh, and I have a cable. There's a little clip under here. That's also another option to actually plug in to keep power, and uh, then it plugs into you know uh, a USB down here. And I like this cable. It's a multi-purpose cable. Different connections. So if I want to plug in the uh, the GoPro or plug in another uh, connection, um, another phone or what have you, uh, it's got the, the three, I guess, main connections these days, the iPhone and the other two. So uh, that is the dash. Uh, as far as other areas, I, I this area here in the truck, I really don't use it for much. I throw things in there for quick access. I've got a couple masks here that hopefully we're getting past these days. I've got my um, RFID tag for the gun range, that kind of thing. It's just quick access. So I uh, really don't use that for anything major. I throw receipts in there and things of that nature. Okay. And as far as the glove box, uh, set up there is a bunch of uh, hand wipes, which are you need quick access to those quite often. Uh, napkins, hand warmers, which are kind of seasonal, and a uh, little spoon and fork type thing. It's just straw, just little things, quick access, nothing major there. Um, works out good. You can see in the other panel, I've got another bottle of water. Now let's look at the main console. Uh, again, um, Built Right Industries. Uh, this came from them as well. I love this little uh, metal Molly setup. Uh, you know, got my flashlight, got my um, my uh, seatbelt cutter, and uh, a little knife here. Got my uh, multi-tool. It's a good little center drive by Gerber. Extra mag. Uh, 
little shelf here. I've got just, you know, just odds and ends. Uh, all my keys for my different things, whether it's a diamond back cover, my eye camper, house key, just things I don't keep on a normal key ring. Uh, some little locks for the, um, my containers, my Rome Adventure containers if I'm gonna lock them down. You know, nothing major, just keeps honest people honest for the most part. A uh, little light, I like this little 90 degree angle on this light and it's very bright too. It's daylight right now, so I really can't show it to you, but little things, eye drops, a uh, little uh, ibuprofen, Benadryl, you know, allergy season, that kind of thing. Uh, a little fixed blade knife a buddy of mine gave me. I uh, got some sentimental value there. Uh, so that's it. And down here, um, you can see I've got just kind of uh, one of these Max Peditions little uh, setups here where um, I've got just, uh, just odds and ends. Um, just things like uh, contacts uh, case, you know, uh, um, uh, memory stick. Got some cash, that kind of stuff. Main compartment. Sorry, this is a little challenging with one hand. Uh, main compartment. I've got cables, knife, uh, some tums. <laughs> you never can. You always need tums for. You know, it's always good to have tums. Uh, some batteries in there, and then a little boo boo kit back here. So uh, that's about it on that. Uh, what else do we have in here? Uh, this is a little special tool on my iCamper video. I showed that. That's to, um, to um, remove the iCamper. I like to keep that in there in case I ever need to tighten them down if they loosen up. Uh, some more batteries, a little pad. Got a mount for the uh, Glock there. You can see that. Now, what I do too on this is I like to mount it with the, uh, with the holster. So if, it, if it's pulled out, uh, the holster's intact. The the uh, trigger is covered at all times. I think that's very important to be safe, and it works out well. So that is a setup in the console. All right, and that same, by the way, that same uh, system I have for the for the Glock. I also have. I'll show you on my bike the interchange as well on this uh on my bike as well so i open up the bag that same little setup right here so that holster will fit right down in there and keep the trigger covered for safety okay all right now back to the truck okay now let's go to the back all right now, one thing you'll see is I have a rain jacket here. I always keep a rain jacket uh, in the truck. Uh, try to keep two uh, in case my wife forgets hers and doesn't have to use mine. Okay, another water bottle, another microfiber, some hand wipes. And this you may recognize from an, another video I did, uh, the, um, the tool kit, the tool bag. Um, it's a very good product by Blue Ridge Overland Gear. Um, they do a great job. Love their products. So, got a full full video on that. And then, uh, of course, my day bag, get home bag, everyday bag, what do you want to call it? Um, so I've done a full review on uh, on that bag and the contents in that bag. Now, looking onto the um, the back of the seat or the under part of the seat. Uh, when it's raised up. Now, in my case, it's just me and my wife and our two dogs for the most part. I rarely have passengers in the back. So I leave this up. I leave this set up like you see it now all the time. I'll take my bag out and put it in the back so I, the dogs have full access down here. Um, that's why you also see dog hair everywhere. But um, so this setup remains in place most of the time, but the seats will go down and this stuff will remain underneath. Um, so let's just start to this side. We've got Flashlight, this is an Olight. I think I got it around Christmas time. Got it on special. And it's, a, it's a good light. It was a great price. Uh, so I like their products as well. Uh, ZT, love their products. Um, this is one of their larger, I guess, say pocket knives. This is the 052 CF, CF for carbon fiber. Um, love their knives. Got quite a few of those. All right, and uh, set of binoculars. 
This is Sig Sauer. I mean, they're not really, they're known for firearms more than optics, but they've gotten into the optics market in the last few years and they've done a great job with it. Uh, I got a really good deal on these binoculars and um, I love them. I, I think they make good products. I got a lot of their red dots and scopes and I think they, they do very well with their optics. Um, down here, dog bowl. That's because that's life with dogs. Got to have a water bowl when you go out throwing frisbees, that kind of thing. So, you know, one thing too, let me just interject. My setup is for every, you know, really everyday stuff and preparedness. It's for both. So if things really went sideways, I think I've got uh, the right gear for that. But this is also very useful in just everyday life. Um, that's just the way it is. So uh, other things, you know, extra mag. I've got a little pouch here for today's world of masks. I've got plenty of masks. Hopefully we'll get back to some type of normalcy and then I can just carry a couple masks um, as I was doing prior to this whole epidemic. Um, under the seat, or the, or the bottom tray of the seat, let's just go through some of this. I do have a poncho and I do have a, I have put a, I have put a poncho in my bag now. I, I had a, a subscriber sent me uh, a comment about one thing I was missing was a poncho and he was right. It was a great suggestion. I bought two of them, one for the bag, one for just to keep in the truck. A small tarp, highly recommended. That thing comes in handy so many times. Um, a really, really, really useful uh, piece in here. You don't have to have a really large one, just a small one's fine. And here's all my tie down equipment that I have, uh, ratcheting tie downs. Uh, heavy duty bungees, that type of thing, I keep there. Uh, and you know, some people keep those uh, in their recovery gear bag if they have one. I like for them to be a little bit more accessible because you'll see in a few minutes where my recovery gear is located. Um, first, I've got a uh, blow up pillow, which is kind of funny. The reason why I have that is there's been quite a few times I'll forget a pillow in camping and this is just my backup, no other reason for that uh, a pair of gloves can't have too many gloves you'll see i have more than this in this vehicle gloves come in handy more times than not um hatchet i, I can't say enough about having a nice sharp good quality hatchet this is a, a grants for brook um, it's made in sweden uh, you can actually get these on amazon now they make a great quality piece of equipment here and uh, I keep it very sharp and um, it's amazing what you can do with this in addition to an axe but if it's very sharp you can really uh, cut up some uh, some limbs and smaller trees pretty quick uh, when needed so um, highly recommend um, some paper towels and shop towels just partial rolls so they don't take up so much space and some bags got a trash bag and inside is some um, just you know food freezer bags just for any emergency storage situations uh here's my straps for my match tracks another microfiber these are some just uh, electronic road flares they're really great they have different um, flashes you know from a single flash to a different um, what am i trying to say um, Different scenarios, different patterns, I guess you would say, different patterns of, of lighting, how they flash. So pretty cool. Um, you need those, you need some kind of flares if you ever have trouble, obviously, at night. Uh, and I've got some spare ammo here, a couple boxes, which in today's prices, that's like gold uh, and very hard to find. So uh, what else do we have here? Here's another little, I forgot to mention this. I don't have anything in it right now. It used to be on my battle belt to hold your phone, but then I realized I don't really want my phone on a battle belt. So I'm trying to figure out what to do with that. So that is that. Let me go around. Let's go around to the other side. Okay, so over here, again, another bottle of water and a few pouches over here i got a, a med kit uh so really it's, it's nice it's nice and big it detaches very quickly with velcro from the headrest so i like that um i'm not a real medical person i'm not highly trained or anything like that so 
I probably couldn't do this justice. I'm one of those guys that I'll have all the supplies for someone who knows better how to use it, but I do want to uh, go through additional training. So, uh, what else do we have? We got a pouch here. These, some of these pouches came with my tool bag and I swapped them out with some other sizes. So I've had some extra pouches. That's why it kind of matches. Um, this is one I have just for snacks, you know, just to keep those. You gotta, you gotta remember to keep rotating these out so they don't really age out on you. Um, but that's what I have there. And down here, same kind of pouch is for the dogs and their snacks. So um, have that for them. Up here, we've got some cables for my comms. Speaking of comms, here they are. Uh, just some biofangs, a couple of them. I mean, they're not very expensive. I think mean, like $30 a piece or so, something like that. But I have two of those. I try to, you've got to remember to keep those charged or keep a charger with you like I do. Uh, and then down here, I've got a change of clothes. Uh, it's obviously seasonal, you got to change it out, but I've got a pair of shorts, got underwear, got a couple t-shirts, uh, a longer sleeve shirt if it gets a little cooler, and um, socks, that type of thing. And I also have some gaiters in here too, so if I ever needed that. One thing I don't have in here, I don't have an extra pair of shoes, that's probably something I need to put in here, um, but do not have it at that time, at this time. All right, now let's go around to the back. I've got, as far as mounting goes, I use the Built Right Industries metal molly system for the side panels. It allows me to mount things on the side. I've got two on each side, front and a back. The front's a little bit larger uh, than, the, than the back. I say front, I mean the tailgate end. So here I've got the uh, water port system mounted. Uh, I've had this system about two or three years, love it. Gives you about three and a half gallons of pressurized water, you know, to rinse things off. Uh, shoes, the dogs, uh, what have you. Back there I've got a fire extinguisher, not the best place for it, but I've got it there for now. I'm gonna be trying to find a better place. Not very accessible back there, but I already had the mount there and it was uh, easy to just stick it back there for now. Um, on this side, I have an axe mounted, and then you might be able to see that up the very end. I've got a little, little C-clamp type of thing there. I uh, used to hook a tool bag around it, but I've got to find another use for it or take it off. But there's the axe mounted across the front and the back panels. And then on this end up here, I've got the Rotopacks mounted. It mounted perfectly there. Love it. Uh, did a great job. So, um, like the Built Right Industry system, I did ask them about possibly making one for the the cab in across that whole width of the bed, and uh, they're working on it. There's some taper there. You might be able to see it from the camera, but uh, it's a little challenging for them. They're working on it. Um, the other thing I have in here is I've got my Smitty Built air system. Uh, it's a good portable system. I want to do an integrated system at some point. Haven't got around to it, so this will uh, suffice for now. Uh, it's a good little system. I really haven't challenged it yet, but I have tested it out here and haven't had it that long. Now, the uh, recovery gear case, Rome, Con Rome Adventure. Let's pull that thing out, see what's inside. Uh, this is the um, 95 liter Rome Adventure container. It's got three latches, they're lockable. I've got a full review on this thing and some other cases on another video. All right, lid, lid organizer, they came out with not too awful long ago, really helps out. Um, that's got like, here's some heavy duty carabiners. Got some paracord, uh, head warmers. I like this little area here, it's, it's made to illuminate. So if you had a light like this Olight, uh, you just turn it on and it helps illuminate uh, at nighttime. So that's kind of a cool little idea. Uh, what do I have back here? It's got the charging cable for that light. This one has a mask. I can see it through the mesh. This one, I can see it through the mesh as well. I got a bunch of gloves. Can't have too many gloves. And a rag. A little microfiber rag. 
Okay, challenge to do this with one hand. There we go. This one, I really don't have a lot in this one at this time. This is just a bag of um, some Velcro straps, just various types. And I've got a little box of ammo in there. So that's it up there. Um, down here, I do have, there's some bolt cutters, some shop towels, uh, just a little clamp, uh, a little extension for a socket, which I've got all my tools in my tool bag. Uh, again, I've done a, I did a review on that as well. A uh, little Fisker saw and toe straps, tree hugger. I think there's a tree hugger in there. And I've got these sh soft shackles, which um, are a little safer than the hard ones. So I had to go that route. Um, there's a uh, repair kit, tire repair kit. Got some uh, duct tape, because everybody needs duct tape. Got some heavy duty wire for some, you know, repairs out off the road. Uh, when you're um, overlanding, you're, you, you know, come across different things, you need repairs. Sometimes you just need to tie it up and get on with it, get to, uh, get to a main road. Uh, crowbar, everybody needs a crowbar, comes in handy. Let's see what else we have here. A little mallet under here. And a little level. This thing really, um, I don't know, you can kind of eyeball it, but you know, when you're living up your rooftop tent, uh, I'm getting ready to order some leveling blocks. I don't own any yet. Just to have, uh, it doesn't make a good difference when you're sleeping on level, a level surface instead of uh, angled. Um, let's see what else we have here. Here is uh, the Gulu uh, jump jump charger, jump starter. Great product, can't say enough about it. God, I wish these existed years ago when my vehicle really needed to be jump started a lot. So this is good. I mean, it's good for your vehicle if you do run a battery down. And it's good too. You can also help other people who need assistance. Um, 12 ton hydraulic jack, just because the jack comes with your vehicle usually isn't good enough when you're in times of need fiber microfiber cloth toilet paper if you do any camping at all you know you need that and usually i'll pack it you know with other things this is the emergency roll in case we are somewhere and forgot it makes all the difference in the world uh this is just a little uh down jacket i leave this in here more for a pillow um, it, it's seasonal. I mean, it does come in handy in the winter time, but even in summertime as a pillow, it can be a good backup. Uh, light, little lantern style light. These are cheap. Uh, hitch with all the different ball sizes on it. I rarely need a hitch. I don't pull, I rarely pull anything. That's why I have a Raptor <laughs> and not a standard 150. Um, but you know, I do have it there if needed. There's some more heavy paracord. And here's a shovel, just a little inexpensive, uh, made by Glock actually, a little fold up shovel. So I'm planning on getting a, a longer one, putting it, mounting it in the bed. You know, not a, not a full size, but something a little bit bigger than that. But uh, that's it. That's it for my uh, recovery gear. Um, please let me know. I'm sure there's many things that uh, you guys will have suggestions on that I don't have. Love to hear from you. Uh, and if there's anything that um, was of value today, I, I hope you got something out of this as well, give you some ideas. So please like and subscribe as always. We really appreciate that. And um, any comments, please leave below. Love to hear from you. And until next time, have fun out there.